we live in glorious times. A hundred years from now, or even thousands of years from now, people will look back and wonder, how was it to live in the 21st century? They will wonder, did we realize what we were going through and how fundamental the decisions that we made would be seen in the future? My name is David Orban, and this is The Context, Series 4, Episode 9. There are unique moments in history, and we recognize some of those uh, in our past, whether it is the Renaissance, whether uh, it is the birth or the decline of the Roman Empire, uh, other times when both individual and collective decisions have made an impact that reverberated through history and was remembered as momentous. We are now living a unique moment of transition and transformation that is as important, potentially more important, than any other time in history. And it is our collective mission to build the basis of inclusivity and empowerment that allows as many people as possible to realize that they are an active participant if they choose to become one in this transition and transformation. Why am I saying that these are glorious times? They are complex, they are dangerous, they are full of uncertainty and unknowns. However, we are equipped with the tools that are required in order to address the challenges that we have in front of us and to explore the possibilities in order to maximize the probability of desirable outcomes and build the basis of a future that fulfills our potential. The examples are a plenty of the challenges that we are seeing, both that we have created and those that emerge, but we now realize we can face. Climate change, risk of global wars, disruption of social infrastructure, the demographic dynamic, which contrary to many uh, assumptions, is not about overpopulation. It is about the very opposite of not enough people believing in a future where they want their descendants to participate and as a consequence choose not to procreate and we end up in a world in decline with fewer of fewer people. These are just a few of our challenges, natural and artificial. And each of these challenges, and many more, can and must be addressed. There is no guarantee that we will find solutions. We cannot be just following the marching orders of anyone who pretends that they do have those solutions and they know uh, if we only attack and destroy some supposed enemy among us, then everything will be fine. One of the characteristics of our glorious times is that we have realized that we are all one. There is no human that is an enemy. We have so many challenges. I don't even want to call them enemies. 
that it would be not only stupid but dangerous to weaken our own ranks by pointing against any group and labeling them our enemies. We don't have uh, enough active participants who realize what we can achieve yet. We don't have enough talent because we allow to squander talent. We need to empower, emancipate, and excite people all around the world to make sure not only that they fulfill their individual potential, but that they join the ranks of those who believe that it is worth fighting the challenges in order to overcome them. And there are billions of people who are ready, learning what are the tools that are available, learning that indeed we have methods that are reliable, that can analyze what are the solutions, test them out, and then implement them and scale them. That is the way to go. All over the world, in every continent, in every country, in every community. The reason why the choices that we make and the way that we address the challenges matter so much in my opinion, is exactly the same reason why we realize that we are one. The power that we have developed is sizable. And the power can disrupt, at a fundamental level, our civilization if we apply it badly. No, planet Earth will be fine. Even the global ecosystem will recover just as it has already recovered from cataclysmic disruptions in the past that uh, destroyed 99 plus percent of the living species. But maybe humanity will go extinct. Maybe for another few billion years there will be no new species emerging that endowed with self-awareness to the degree that we have will have the ability to wonder about its own existence and develop and apply the tools that we now have. On the other hand, if we use our powers in a direction that is constructive, that addresses our challenges, then we will become a multi-planetary species and it will take hundreds or thousands of years, but sooner or later we will become an interstellar civilization. So we really are at a crossroads. And that is why in the future of that interstellar civilization thousands of years from today, when humans and AIs and any other label, the uh, self-aware active participants of that civilization will choose to call themselves, will look back they will look back in wonder and they will ask themselves how was it to live in those glorious times?